Merry Christmas, everybody. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell Good morning to you again. It's me. I'm back. Happy Saturday. Um, I was in two minds as to whether I would film today, but there were some nice things happening, so I thought I would. And I'm definitely going to take tomorrow off because we're literally doing nothing tomorrow. My dad's coming to visit, so um, that seemed like a bit more of an appropriate day to take off. I'm sat in the kitchen because the kids are in the living room and they're being noisy. <laughs> so I thought I'd take myself out here, though I'm not, I'm not as cosy as I was in the living room. We've got plans for this space, actually. We've got our giant peace lily here at the moment, but next year that's going to go into the main living room and we're going to have like a comfy armchair here because this is like the back corner of the kitchen you can see out to the garden and it's the perfect kind of cozy place to sit if somebody's cooking and you want to sit and chat or the kids are playing or something it's just a nice spot so this will hopefully be a little bit cozier in years to come today we are I'm taking my son for a haircut this morning. The only appointment I could get was at like 8.30 in the morning, but that also means we've got an excuse to go to the bakery and we're gonna try and do some Pokemon Go as well as we didn't manage to do that yesterday. And then again, it's gonna be trying to persuade my husband to go and get a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm kind of like, if we don't do it today, when are we going to do it? We're going to Devon on Tuesday, but we're coming back on the Friday. We're just popping down for a short trip, basically. Um, ben wants to do a long journey in the Tesla and see what it's like to like charge halfway and all that kind of thing. So, I'm going to go and see the in-laws. So, we're not actually going to be at home very much this week for the tree, but then when we get back from Devon on the Saturday, we're going to the Black Country Museum, and then I'm not sure if the um, Christmas tree shops are open on Sundays. I might do some research because if they are, maybe we'll get one tomorrow or maybe we'll get one next Sunday after we're back from Devon. What I might do in the meantime though, if we don't get a tree today, is get the box of Christmas decorations out and um, decorate the home a little bit with what we've got. As I've mentioned in episode one, we don't really have many Christmas decorations or many places to put them because we don't really have any surfaces. But we've got a garland that lights up and I'd like to put that in the kitchen window. And we've got some lovely like paper stars, which I need to try and figure out where I can hang. Um, and I'm sure there'll be things that I've forgotten about as well. So I'll have a little dive through there. I need to wash and block my shortography today. So exciting. Because um, I don't really want that to like sit and squander. I want it to be finished. And I'm just going to continue to work on my husband's jumper. And I think I'm going to spend some time on my first sweater today because I'm worried that I've let that languish for a little bit too long. And I'm going to be kind of like out of the zone with it. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yes, I'd like to spend some time on my first sweater. I am going out tonight. I was originally going on like a girls night out in town um, but one of our friends couldn't make it so me and my other friend are just going to go for festive curry and a couple of drinks in the pub so I'm going to find, I'm going to dig out my coziest jumper and go and spend some time with my friend this evening without any children, how exciting is that, yay! So I probably will take you along for that but I don't know how she feels about being filmed so I might just do a little time lapse and show you my curry. <laughs> And then throughout the day today, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing, just bits and pieces here and there, I think. I would like to maybe do some baking today, but we'll see. So, welcome back, happy weekend, and thank you for joining me yet again.
Walking around, feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now, don't know where I've ordered this yesterday and it's already here. Um, firstly, I'll show you just a little bit of yarn that I got. I've got four balls of the Phil Kalana Peruvian Highland wool, a light grey and a dark grey. I'm going to use, yes, darling. I'm going to use this to make hats for gifts if I get time. Just neutral, one by one ribbed hats for some blokes in my life. Um, and it's the same yarn that I use for Ben's hat, so I know that it's good and it will work. And in here we have something really exciting. This is something that I've wanted to get for ages, but they've been out of stock everywhere. And I messaged Simona. I'll help you in a minute, baby. I messaged Simona and was like, when are these coming back into stock? And she was like, I don't know. But then the next day they were coming back into stock. So let's stop beating around the bush, shall we? I've obviously got more than enough knitting needles, but my problem is that all my knitting needles, oh hang on, I'll stop the crinkling. All my knitting needles are all different types of needles, different types of cables, some fixed, some interchangeable. And first of all, it's really hard to store them and I never know where they are, so I thought I need a set. I just need a set of really good quality interchangeable needles. So when I ordered from Knit a little while ago, I ordered just like one set like of interchangeable ones just to give them a go because I've heard lots of really good things about it. I think you call it Leica? Leica? I think. Um, that's probably wrong. But I really, really liked the way they feel. Generally, I like wooden needles. I also really like metal needles, but I often find with uh, like mohair and really fluffy stuff, metal needles, it's just a bit too slippy. When I've been working on my... Um, Augustine's number 21 dress on metal needles with a big gauge. I just kept losing my strand of mohair because the, the needles are so slippy. So, oh, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful and they're so pink. They go from size 3.5 up to 12. I don't know if I'll ever need 12s, but I've certainly been using the tens recently i've actually just ordered well i ordered a set of um nine millimeter needles the other week for my augustines and i've now got two sets of nine but yeah oh my gosh i ordered the i think it's five inch length so the slightly longer ones just because they feel more comfortable in my hands than the little short ones are you having fun baby and then obviously in here we've got all like the cables and stoppers and everything. So now I should be able to just keep them in here and when I want to go somewhere, you want chocolate? I should be able to just pick them up and take them with me. And I just need to make sure that I'm good at putting them away again and not just like, I want purple one. <laughs> so I need to be better at like keeping them organized because quite a lot of the time they just sit on projects not being used. I need to put those projects on to stitch holders and then put the needles back so I can use them as and when. So that's a very exciting little Merry Christmas present to me. I did say to my husband, look, if you're struggling for ideas this year, there is something that I would really, really, really like. We don't normally like tell each other what we want because I kind of feel like that takes, it kind of ruins the whole point of buying someone a present. Like if I just told him what to get me, then where would be the joy in that for him or me? I could just buy it myself if I wanted it that much. The only time we've done that was with my KitchenAid where I dropped some very, very strong hints but I wasn't actually expecting him to get it for me but he did because he's a good one. So yeah, Merry Christmas to me. It's a little bit dark. I hope you've been able to see me. Um, my husband has just nipped out for a little while and I will show you why now. 
now. So this is our living room and when we moved in it was very very different and I'll try and find a picture and show you if I've still got one somewhere. So obviously this is the front of our house and we've got the terrace out there and the view onto the field and in the summer the sun is really really high so we don't have a problem with light but in the winter as you can see because we're south facing it's so so bright in here that you can't even really sit on the sofa because it's so bright so over the past few weekends my husband has been let me just adjust the light here a little bit my husband has been making a curtain pole because it's such a wide window we couldn't find one ready made to fit and um to get one handmade was going to be really really expensive and we basically smashed all our <laughs> savings on the house renovation um i'm just going to flip you around so the next problem we had was that we can't find curtains that are big enough to fit this window um we have found a company that are going to make us some linen curtains but there's going to be a bit of a wait on that we're probably not going to be here till after christmas so my husband has gone off to Dunelm to find some really really cheap basic curtains that we can put in this space so that we don't all get blinded on Christmas morning and then when we get the actual curtains for here the curtains that we've bought temporarily will then be used in the bedroom so they won't be wasted or we can use them in the downstairs bedroom or we can chop them up and use them for the kids room something like that so yes that's what he's gone to do so it's going to be a day of DIY I think and he's also planning to do some more painting in the hallway I have been really really rubbish when it comes to doing the DIY after the house renovation it was so intense for like six months that afterwards I was just like I'm done like I can't I can't make any more decisions about the house I just want to like leave it for a little while but we're starting to get the pep back now we're arranging to get all our lightings all our lightings <laughs> all our lights fitted because we've currently still got like strings with bulbs on in most rooms so we're getting our lighting done hopefully before christmas a bit more painting some curtains and then that will probably be it until next year when we need to do some really major decorating all the bedrooms um the hall downstairs needs to be completely renovated like new floor all this kind of thing we need a new front door and a new porch type thing um so yeah there's still lots and lots to do but we're slowly like picking away at it it doesn't doesn't feel like there's any major rush to be honest this is our forever home so it's gonna it's gonna get done and then it will be changed every you know however many years um so yeah that's a little little bit of reno information if you have any questions about the house or the renovations that we did feel free to ask away in the comments below and i'll answer them in the next vlog for you the curtains were a success but my husband only picked up one pair and they barely cover the windows <laughs> so i'm going to nip to another den elm to try and find another pair and also just to see if there's any little kind of like homey christmasy bits and i also want a, like a little table to go next to the bath because when i do have a bath i've got nowhere to put like my drink or my phone i have to put it on the floor so i'm going on a little shopping adventure on my own the best kind of shopping it's super super sunny i've got my sunglasses um i haven't even got a coat on so yay for december sunshine i might have just been really really clever or made a massive mistake <laughs> you may have noticed that um our, one of our living room chairs is covered in paint from the reno i found this like fluffy chair cover it could look absolutely horrendous or it could save all our troubles <laughs> we have found someone that does new covers for it but it's going to take weeks for them to arrive and they're quite expensive so if this can uh, sort that issue out then we'll see my husband's probably going to hate it let's be honest oh i'm going to get a coffee it won't be no uh, eggnog latte but we'll see what costa has to offer <laughs> there's a queue can i be bothered no i can't be bothered i can't be bothered let's go home I'll tell you what, it's a good job I didn't get a Costa.
my shampooed roots, but hashtag mum life. Um, I'm getting ready to go out with my friend tonight. We're just going for drinks and a curry and it's nothing, nothing too fancy, but I do like to take the opportunity to, oops, soz, I do like to take the opportunity to tart myself up a little bit when I can. And I thought I would have a little bit of a catch up and round off this vlog before I go out. So my trip to Danown was semi-successful. I did get another curtain, but I didn't realise that they didn't come in a, a pair. I didn't realise my husband had bought two singles. So I came back with just one more curtain. So we're still a curtain short, but it's not the end of the world. We'll pick up another one at some point. Um, I didn't manage to get a little table for the bathroom. I did see some tables, but I thought they were a little overpriced and I didn't love them enough to pay the price. So I didn't get them but I'm sure something will find its way. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> that fluffy cover on the chair. I don't know if it's better or worse. <laughs> like from one angle, when I first put it on, it looked really good. But from every other angle, it looks awful. And when you've sat on it for a few minutes, it comes loose again because it's too big for the chair, which is my fault. Cause it does say on the package, check, check the size before you open it. Um, but I feel like, <laughs> It's probably slightly better than what was under there. I managed to get a little bit more storage for my knitting shelves, just like a little desk tidy and another little tray to put stuff in. Because I don't have huge amounts of stuff, but because, as I'm sure you'll all know, it's like tiny little fiddly bits, it just gets in a mess so easily. Um, so I feel a bit better about that now. I am going to like fully rearrange those shelves because I want the yarn to be a little bit lower down because I do intend to podcast from in there. When we've replaced the cover for that chair properly, that's then gonna go in the office so that I can podcast in there. Whilst I'm sitting here glamming myself up, I'm reminded that my dear friend Caroline from Caroline's Knits is doing Vlogmas. She kept that one quiet. And she's not, obviously she's not doing it every single day. She's just kind of combining a few days at once, I think. Um, and in her first episode, she sits and does her makeup and has a little chat at the beginning. And it's so, so fascinating to watch her do her makeup. Go and check out Caroline's Vlogmas. I'll link it down below. So thank you again for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will take a bit of footage tonight. Um, I don't think my friend will want to be filmed but I'm sure she won't mind me doing a little time lapse of our dinner or something like that. Um, so there might be a little bit more after this, but if not, thank you so much for watching. I won't see you tomorrow because I'm taking the day off, but I will be back with you on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you next time. Good night. Oh